My name is Kirk Johnson. I'm with the Relic Department for Genealogy and Local History. This video is a quick overview of some of the resources available to our patrons from the State Library's website. Now, like the Prince William Public Library System, the Library of Virginia is currently closed to the public. In a future video, I'm going to look over some of the resources and collections held by the Library of Virginia and how to use the website to research their holdings, plan a visit, implement your research, or perhaps place an interlibrary loan request. But for right now, we're just going to look at what's available remotely on the website. Now, helpfully, the Library of Virginia staff have prepared this services and resources available document. This spells out pretty, uh, pretty completely uh, what they can do, what their hours are, how to contact staff, and how to use some of their online resources. Some of this material I'll be looking at uh, in just a minute, but this is a good place to start if you're on their website and want to know what you can do at the Library of Virginia while well, it's currently closed. For the databases I'm going to show you, you will need a Library of Virginia library card. Now for Virginia residents, if you don't already have one, they've made it very easy to get one. Go to register for a library account. And there is right here are uh, the portal for either registering first time for a card or renewing uh, the card you already have. Now this is an online card. Uh, if you uh, go into the, the branch, you will uh, at that point get yourself a physical card. But in the meantime, this online card will allow you to uh, uh, search the catalog and uh, use the databases. It's a very simple procedure. It's a short application. You're going to need an email address and your driver's license number. You do need your Virginia driver's license number. That is how they confirm that you are a Virginia resident. Once you fill this out and accepted the terms and conditions, you're good to go. The library card is uh, immediately uh, um, turned on and you can use it uh, for research right away. The staff will uh, later confirm that it is a legitimate driver's license number. Uh, if uh, the number is incorrect, the card will be disabled and you won't be able to get a physical card. But if you enter your information correctly, you will immediately be able to use the resources I'm about to show you. The place to look here is in using the collections. And as I said, uh, we, we, we will later look at uh, how to do research and use the collections at the library. But for the time being, we're going to skip over the guides and indexes and look down at databases and ebooks. There's quite a few available here. Nearly all of them are available remotely. And they're, they're categorized by subject. The biographical and genealogical uh, databases are quite extensive, and many of them are are tailored to uh, Virginia interests. As you can see, there are the papers of several very notable Virginians included. Uh, there's also a master index for biography and genealogy, a very interesting collection of life and cultural culture in Appalachia, and so on. Down here at the bottom, uh, ProQuest has provided three history vaults, slavery and antebellum Southern industries, and parts one and two of plantation records from 1775 through 1915. Now, if you were to click on either one of these links, it will take you to this page, which gives you the, the link to all three of these collections. If I wanted to go into Southern life and African-American history, 1775 to 1915, I would uh, click on the, the link. It would tell me what I'm looking for and I can begin to search. I've already done a search here, and you can see I found the, the papers of John Taylor II right here in Prince William County. This gives a nice uh, overview of the collection and tells you uh, what it includes. You'll also see that you can download a PDF, a digitized copy of at least part of the collection. And I've, I've opened it already here. It starts off with a, a description of the collection and the catalog information and then goes right into a very clean digitized copy of the document. Some of the other collections include maps 
and architecture. Uh, uh, some of these uh, maps are, are very interesting. Uh, the Sanborn map collection uh, is a collection of maps made by an ins a fire insurance company that provide detailed information of the exact shape and location of structures at, at, at the year in question. And again, with all these uh, databases, when you try and log in, uh, you'll be asked for either the email that you registered under or the library card number if you've received it. And of course, if you're doing the online registration, you won't have a library card number yet, but your email that you gave will work just fine. And uh, the Sanborn collection does include uh, some maps of Manassas at the turn of the last century. This is a very good way if you're a homeowner in Old Town Manassas to look up uh, what your property looked like, uh, in this case in 1907, and what the na neighboring buildings looked like. Uh, besides the maps, another area of interest are newspapers and magazines, and this is a really rich area for research. Um, uh, the uh, American Periodicals uh, is a searchable di uh, digital images of over a thousand periodicals published from 1740 through 1940. Uh, and if you go into that again, you will be asked for a to log in, and I already have here, and you'll see that this will take you uh, to this site. Uh, and, uh, and from here, you can search either for a subject, you can do an advanced search if you want to tailor your search. Or you could, if you just want to browse the collection, you can just click on publications and you'll get an alphabetized list of the titles uh, held. And you can see there's quite a diversity of titles uh, from the uh, 19th century right here on the first page. Aside from American periodicals, there's also uh, a good collection of historic newspapers, the newspaper archives. And uh, th this uh, newspaper archive is from all over the country. Uh, and you can search by state. And then from within the state, you can search uh, 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 by, by name, the person you're looking for, or you can browse through the map and zoom in that way. OK, well, there, there are uh, many other databases there. And I encourage you to log in to the Library of Virginia's website, uh, get yourself uh, uh, a library card. It's free for all Virginia residents. It's uh, uh, something that everybody should take advantage of and uh, start searching. I hope this has been helpful and I look forward to our future videos.